Welcome to this Excel stat short video on how to do an agglomerative hierarchical clustering or AHC with Excel stat. To start an AHC, go to the menu Analyzing Data and select the option Agglomerative hierarchical clustering. Once the dialog box is opened, select the variables to take into account in the classification. We select the variables from net domestic migration to population age is inferior to 65. We do a column selection from column C to column H. The column B is not selected because it does not show a migration dynamic. We don't select the variable I either as it is fully correlated to H. The data format is the table of observations by variables. For computing the proximity between samples, we will use the type dissimilarities and the Euclidean distance. Then select the agglomeration method as WARS method. In the selected columns, the name of the variables was included. So we need to select the option column labels. In addition, we can add the row labels and select the column A which contains the name of the states. We don't set any weights in this analysis, neither on the samples nor on the variables. Also, before leaving the general tab, we select where to display the results. We select the option sheet to get the results in a new sheet of this workbook. Then we go to the tab options. We are clustering the samples, so the appropriate option for the clustering type is cluster rows. We select the options Center and Reduce to standardize the columns. We leave the truncation option set to Automatic to let ExcelStat decide about the number of clusters. In the Missing Data tab, we select to get a warning in case of missing data and leave the default option Do not accept missing data selected. In the tab Outputs, we select all results to be displayed. For the charts, we also select all results to be displayed and select to have a vertical dendrogram. Now that everything is set, we click on the OK button. We now check that the selections are correct and click on the Continue button. The results are displayed in a new sheet. First, you find the summary statistics for each variable. Then comes the proximity matrix computed with Euclidean distance. It shows the Euclidean distance between paired samples. In the table node statistics, you get information about how the cluster were made. For example, the samples 12 and 2 are clustered together and form the cluster 95. It also gives a level for this node. The levels can be seen on the next chart, levels bar chart. In this chart, we can see that the two last clusters are quite distant from each other, as the level is 80. So the two groups are very dissimilar. Then the samples are more and more similar. Next is a donogram that shows how the samples are clustered. For example, Texas is most similar to the state California. We can see that there are three clusters with the selected threshold of 30. One cluster only contains two samples, Alaska and Hawaii. The next dendrogram shows only the clusters. Then we can look into the variance decomposition in within class variance and between class variance. Then we get statistics about the centroids and central objects before getting the classification of the samples in the three clusters. Finally, we get a table with the samples and an attribution variable class. Thank you for watching this video.